preview media in case you're wondering. I'm not wondering. I know who you are because you just told me. Oh, yes, indeed. Smart man. So how excited are you to be here and be in the part of this big project? You know, the, one of the most exciting things about being here with this big project is that I get to see all of you who are on, the, on your side telling the story. Because that's the important part, is that we have, all of us, had the stories that we've had forever, you know, and from our, from our grandparents and our great-grandparents and, and our history, you know, and it's always, I was born a feminist, so, you know, we have, in America, the Latinos, we carry our, our, father's, our father's name, but in Latin America, it's the father and mother. Because it's, it's both sides, you know, it's, 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 we have, you know, if you keep multiplying that two to four to eight to 16 to 32 to 64 to 126 to 254, it just, oh my God, that's why our families are so big and that's what we need. How many, I, I just went to 254 real quick. We need you to come and see and watch our movies. Ha, ha, do you get Amazon Prime? Personally, have you heard of With Love? Yes. I'm I'm the grandfather in With Love. Is I'm the grandfather in in uh, Flaming Hot, and and uh, Eva asked for me, and is is Flaming as uh, With Love did. We need our audience to come and watch Flaming Hot. Tomorrow night we'll be here with Flaming Hot. It's a premiere. We'll be here tonight. Tomorrow night, and uh, it's just important because it's uh, celebrating all of us and finally the women are the ones Gloria Calderon Kellett the showrunner on Flaming Hot is an incredible woman showrunner she's fabulous now you have been doing films for decades I, I want, I want you one, oh real quick one, one real quick just tell them why you're such a big fan of mine because they don't know why see <laughs> and through the years there's only been one person that has inspired me and that's Pepe Serna okay because, like, for me, it's the way he dresses. You know, if I could dress like he dressed, I would have been a superstar. He would have been. He would have been would've. bigger than Edward James Olmos. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Love you more. Anyway. So, yeah, so. You've been doing films for decades and yeah. decades. So how do you, has, has everything changed um, from day one? And what would you tell that younger self now, you know, about what your career was going to be? My first movie that I did in Corpus Christi in 1964, 59 years ago, I was the lead. I was a bullfighter. The film got destroyed in a, in a hurricane. But I still carry that within, you know, the bullfighter. On the bull ring where I got to see Cantinflas, fight and then that was in I, I got to see him in in, uh, in uh, 50 58 around 58 and then 57 12 years later I, I get to meet him 10 years in, in, in Mexico City I met Cantinflas and he got me connected to the Churubusco Studios so I've been you know what is our dream for all for all the public guy what what do we want what do we need whatever your dream is that's keep it and encourage your brothers and sisters everybody to tell them yeah yeah you can do it and do it so I'm gonna let you go because because people want me over there and, and he's he's needs a little help here you're I, both high I demand. Need, I, need, I need some attention. Yeah. He needs some, we, you know. we have all the attention for both of you. And I, I was so poor, my family, that I couldn't even pay attention. And it was, <laughs> <laughs> How exciting to be here. Another fantastic project. I mean, you're part of this film festival. You made it happen and now bringing a big film like Flame and Hot. Yeah, I'm very grateful that Ava made the movie. And I'm very grateful that they gave us the opportunity to premiere it here. Well, premiere is here tonight. And I think that this audience deserves to see it first. So what did you look forward to when you first heard about the film? Well, I look forward to the truth of it, you know, and it's wonderful. I've seen the film, it's wonderful. And I'm waiting to see it with an audience like this. I think people are going to love it. Now, 
What's your level of spicy in food? Not just Cheetos, Ooh. but in food, period. I used to be much more spicier when I was younger. But as I got older, I got heartburn and all that kind of stuff, you know. As you get older, things change. So I can't really get spicy like I used to. We have other ways to get spicy. We're Latinos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a spicy though. kind of guy anyway. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations thank on your you. night and your festival. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks.